Just how prepared are emergency crews at KCI if a plane were to go down here? Jenna Hancher joins us live from the airport now with a look at how these crews prepare for a disaster. Jenna. Jow, Jow, right now we're in an area of the airport in which firefighters use to practice how they would fight and battle an aircraft fire. We're joined now by Matt Maurer again, Battalion Chief Matt Maurer. Talk to me a little bit about these tools that you have and what you would do in order to practice to battle a blaze like this. Well, you see a boom mounted on top of Rescue 92 here. It's 50 foot long. It uh, elevates, so I'll go ahead and have him raise it. Go ahead and make it close. Punch. It's... Uh, 50 foot long, sharp spike on the end of it is uh, allows us to penetrate the aircraft. We'd use that on a cargo or unoccupied passenger aircraft. So now you're going to tell them to go, and now what he'll, exactly he'll is that happening? Boom, and uh, punch a hole in there. He can. Uh, it allows him to put water and or foam into the aircraft. The boom can also be used as an elevated stream if you wanted to fight fire from above. How often do you guys train here in order to be prepared? Because the challenge is really to be ready for something like this, right? The challenge is to be ready, and, and we train every week. Training has to be ongoing and recurrent. It's just got to be happening all the time. This little chunk of aircraft here, Jet Midwest, gave us, and we can use it to work on evacuation assistance. We can use it to teach aircraft construction. You can see the pole inside of the aircraft, the way it's been cut away. Uh, we can teach forcible entry with this, and we can drill with the high-reach extendable turret. So, so once you guys poke through this, poke through this plane, then what happens? Uh, you would punch through the aircraft, aircraft skin. Uh, he'll engage the pump. He'll flow, flow water through that, and before you've been able to get into the aircraft, you've already got uh, water. You'll hear the engine change. And now you've got a lot of water on the inside of that aircraft. Doing some good, putting the fire out before we would have to cut, a, cut out the outside of the aircraft to get into it. So you don't even have to cut out the outside of that aircraft in order to get in. You could just punch that hole right in there, stream that water, and that gets out that fire pretty quickly. Uh, it's, it's a great tool. We're fortunate we've got a couple of them. And uh, it's really nice to have this kind of prop to train on. Thank you so much, Matt, for joining us. So again, as you can see, they were able to just kind of punch that hole right through that aircraft so they can get that water in. These are just one of many ways in which they train in order to battle aircraft fires here at the Kansas City International Airport. Back to you, Jojo. All right, Jenna, thank you. Very cool to be able to see that.